Hey guys, so G on our Discord asked uh, an, a really interesting question about this screw modifier. And uh, if you check, uh, you add a plane, you add a displace, you add a screw in Y, you will have this result, okay? And if you play with the angle, you will have this result. And as you can see, even if you use a plane, you have some holes holes and you don't want those holes so the purpose of this video is to show you how to make the same and uh, to not have holes i will just hide this one so i will remove this one i will go in top view i will add a simple vertice i will move it here i will press e e e i will snap i will make my profile just like that I uh, can make something like that, press E, I make something uh, like said a profile, Up. and select this one, this one, F, okay, so this is my profile, I will now add a displace, I will add a screw in Y again, and I can play with the number of segments. I can edit the displace, like that. And I can, even if I want, go in edit mode, press 3, select some uh, vertices. So I will I will add to add some uh, event, Oopla. like that. And on this one, I will add another displace, but in Y this time, and like that, I will be able to edit my object on the fly as I want, in object mode, and to see the result directly. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. On this one, I will add a little bevel, up, just like that, and I can check, it seems okay. I can play with the displace, the first one, to edit my uh, my object if I want, and that's it. So, I have my first object. I will go in top view now, I will uh, create another vertice. I will just move it with G here. I will extrude with E. On this one, what I will do is to first add a little displace, then add a screw in Y again. This time I will add a solidify. I will play with the profile to minus one and I will uh, play with the solidify to uh, make uh, something like that. Okay? so. Now, if I come on this screw, I can add as many subdivisions as I want. In fact, you need as many subdivisions as you can. So, after, I will just play with the angle. And as you can see, with this workflow, you have something uh, closed. And if I take this, I will just exit a little. I will activate the rotate, and I will make a little rotation. Could be nice to have a, mod a modifier for uh, transformation. And I will just select this one and this one and make a little boolean. And as you can see, now I have the result I wanted. So if I play with the angle on this one, I will press 2 to keep it in uh, boon mode. If I play with the angle, I can have this result. And you will have your cut and you will have something really, really, really nice. I can click on 7 to check. I can click on uh, 8 to hide the grid or 6 to hide everything and I will have this. So I will play with the angle directly like that. You, be, you have to be careful because uh, sometimes uh, you will have some uh, some part like this one, but most of the time it's okay. And you can of course animate it since everything is editable. I will just press 6 because uh, all of this is just that. Everything is editable. You can add as many objects as you want inside, etc. etc. So this is a little workaround and uh, this is working pretty nicely. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't hesitate to check uh, the speedflow videos and all the possibility you will be able to do with the, uh, the add-on. As you can see, I added some um, decimate, triangulate, tubify, edge split and the new shrink wrap. I will also add a simple deform, etc, etc, etc. Bye bye.